I would say we're a little behind on the Dino Drac <laughs> unboxings, aren't we, Ben? Just a little. And that is going to change now. Okay, Ben, are you ready for a Dino Dracathon now on our vlog channel so people can comment? Uh huh. We're only a half a year behind. That's it. No big deal. You can tell where where we got so busy. We mentioned that in a previous <laughs> vlog. Yeah. So this is from November of uh -huh. 2019. Yeah. And we just got the April one a few days ago. Mm -hmm. So, well, at the time of recording. When these are online, I'm not, I'm not sure. Whatever I can squeeze in the editing, I guess. And these will be like a super surprise because we haven't seen like no. pictures on Matt's Instagram or anything of what For like put six out. months. <laughs> <laughs> we don't remember that far back. We don't have any idea what's in there. So no more excuses. We're going to have a Dino Dragathon. Wow. So, in the first installment of Dino Dracathon, mm -hmm. we are opening up November 2019 Fun Pack. I'm sure there's a lot of Thanksgiving and holiday uh -huh. stuff in here. I bet there was probably like jelly beans in there and <laughs> popcorn and pretzels. I don't know. You think he would uh, do the Charlie Brown Thanksgiving thing again? Traditionally, he oh. does something. True. And it's nice to see this old backdrop again. Yes. The stickers haven't peeled off. Yeah, they're doing pretty good, actually. So, we're recording these videos tail end of April 2020. Right. Mm -hmm. So anyway, let's uh, dive in, see what's in this particular box. November, the big reveal. Tissue paper! Got a little bag of craisins. Oh, nice. Those are ocean spray, that's the good stuff. Yeah, those are the good ones. And we got a little baggie of honey roasted peanuts. Best by March of 2020. Close enough. Ooh, and some uh, <laughs> double mint gum. I didn't even know they still made double mint gum. These are my favorite peanuts. There's double a, mint. There's a uh, Best Buy date of July uh, 2020 oh. on there. So this is legit it's good. new. It's, it's gone up 10 cents since we were kids. Yeah, it has. And it's still only five sticks. They could have at least put in another <laughs> stick or something. So we have some trading cards. I don't know where to... Where I'm so excited. It's been so long. <laughs> so we got some Santa collector cards. That is not the correct Santa. <laughs> this is Santa around the world. <laughs> okay. We have the Page Master, and we have Dr. Seuss's The Cat in the Hat, official movie merchandise. So are we going to see creepy Mike Myers' oh, Cat in the Hat? Definitely. Okay, how about you start with those? We'll get the unpleasantness out of the way first. Okay. Let's see what's what they have in here. Can't even tell what's going on. There, there we go. I don't know. The kids with the cat. I, I think we've tried to block out all memories of this movie. Yeah. Oh, look. Boom. There's your nightmares for tonight, everyone. <laughs> it's like the same. Is this not like... Look. Like the same exact thing, just in front of a different door. The kids are like... Hmm. The kids got a lot of cards in this particular Yeah, there pack. are a lot of kid cards. Oh, and this one's a standee. No stickers? No stickers no. for the sticker wall? Well, so next up we have the Page Master trading cards from 1994. Do you remember what the Page Master was? No. It was Macaulay Culkin live action. He gets sucked into like a library book. Oh, and he's, yes. a, and he's in a cartoon world after that. I yeah. haven't seen that in years. I don't know if I ever actually saw it. So anyway. Oh, this one's... No, oh, they're the glossy stickers. There's two of them together. Oh, that's what's going on. Yeah, they're the glossy stick togethers. <laughs> oh, this must be a chaser card because it's like, oh, it's like shiny. Nice. Page Master Fantasy F8. This is probably foil eight. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Fancy foil card. Yeah. Why don't I show them on this okay. camera? <laughs> mm. Oh look, that look we got the normal version. Oh. Cool. We got the foil one and the normal one. I want to say this book was voiced by Whoopi Goldberg. I don't know. Anyway, I'll let you... Uh, okay, show I'll show them because our other camera doesn't like to focus on the cards very well. It's kind of scary. I guess we could tell Macaulay Culkin right there. Boom. Interesting. Oh, I like this one. Is this like the checklist? Yep. I like the checklist card. <laughs> checklist like the movie poster, right? Yeah, I like it. And the other pack of cards this month was the Santas Around the World. 
Let's see. 22 karat gold card certificates Ooh. and Santa foil cards randomly inserted. I want to get a 24 mm -hmm. karat Santa card. Me too. Even though it's not the Santa Claus the movie, I will put it right up there with our Santa Claus the movie <laughs> memorabilia. <laughs> that if you follow us on Instagram, you know that we have. <laughs> oh, you, you take this opportunity to plug the podcast? <laughs> yeah, we have a podcast, guys. Yeah, did you know that? Probably not. Did you know that? Unless you watched our Easter vlog, <laughs> then you probably don't know that we have a podcast. Do we talk about Santa Claus? The, the movie. movie from 1985. It's called yes. Santa by the Minute. Uh -huh. Check it out on Apple Podcasts, Podbean, and Google Play. Mm -hmm. We have five episodes. And you can listen to us. For free! So here's Santa from 1908 England. You know, you can learn some Santa history. Yes, but, I know, do like these because you can see how Santa looks different everywhere. It's pretty here's neat. Here's Santa in 1928 USA. I don't know if these are in focus. Here is Santa from 1900s Germany. They make a puzzle, the back of them. This one reminds me of the Disney World Santa that in around the world. Oh, like an Epcot? Yeah. This 1920 France Santa reminds me of the Grinch carrying <laughs> big bag over his head. I wonder if that was some inspiration right there. Maybe. Here is 1920 Europe Santa sharing a, he's smoking his pipe and sharing a candy cane with a reindeer. Well, at least the reindeer's not smoking the pipe. In 1890, 1890 Europe, that's 1930 USA. Changed a lot in a couple of years. Well, there's no just one way to draw Santa. Well, I know. And here's 1910 France. We didn't get a gold card or a foil card or anything. Darn. Okay. So next up we have a wacky wally. It's one of those spiders that you threw at the wall. Oh, yes. And watch it mm -hmm. go down the wall until it lands on the floor and gets covered in cat hair mm -hmm. and dirt. And then you can never use it again. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Does it say, this must be a more modern one because it has like nostalgic co on the mm -hmm. back. And let's see. I got in trouble once when I was a kid because I had a ball that was kind of like that where you throw it and it sticks to the wall and then it kind of like slowly rolls down. Um, but I was, they, mom and dad made me play with it outside and I was throwing it at the siding of the house and you know how siding fades over time? Well, where you stuck that, it kind of brought back the original color. So we had all of these dark spots all <laughs> over the side of the house. <laughs> so this was made in 2017. This is like a reproduction. Mm -hmm. Wacky Wally. Mm. So, oh, this looks this looks vintage. I wish we had this back in November. Well, maybe Ooh. you know some quarantine cooking here. When Christmas Nabisco, in the summer. Nabisco holiday fun. Oh, from 2000. So, I it's thought not... I thought it was older. I thought this was like a retro Nabisco logo. Well, so. I mean, it is. Ooh. I mean, it, it's getting there. It was 20 years Man, ago now. Make us some Oreo cheesecake. Omg. <laughs> Done. We will, will figure out how to do that. <laughs> Oreo bread pudding. I'm intrigued. <laughs> hmm. Four cups of day old French bread and regular bread cubes and 16 Oreo cookies and mix it with milk, sugar, and butter. So. Done. <laughs> Oreos make everything better, <laughs> according to Nabisco. <laughs> we'll buy out the Oreos. See if you can find a recipe you're intrigued by. Let's see. Oh goodness, seasonal starters. So there's like actual food in here. There's the Wisconsin wings and bacon dip. I don't want any of the real food though. I want... You want things you can put Oreos into? I want desserts. Ham pinwheels. You and Tegan can eat those. <laughs> Interesting. So Oreo Express. All right, what, what is, is that? What is this? This is... It takes... Uh, graham crackers, white fudge Oreos, holiday chunky chips ahoy, uh, Oreo chocolate sandwich cookies, fruit stripe gum, <laughs> lifesavers, uh, lifesavers roll green, yellow, green, red, and mini Oreo chocolate cookies. What is, oh, here we oh, go, here is. we go. Oh my gosh. Sign me up. How long does this take to make? There's no cooking in it. Well, it's, yeah, it's like just, it's just assembly. Yeah, it's yeah. just assembly required. That is so cool. And then you could substitute, 
you know? It's not like it matters with the flavor, because it's not like any of these would taste good together. Yeah, so, you, you'd have to disassemble it to eat yeah, it. Yeah, so you could change the candies that are in, in here for whatever you want. Oh, look at those little guys! Little jolly snowmen and Santa. I didn't realize Cookie lifesavers. Castle? I didn't realize lifesavers were in Nabisco. I didn't either, but apparently they are. Wow. I'm in. We anyway, are gonna anyway, thanks Matt. We have some stickers for the sticker wall. These Ooh, are some yay. vintage holiday stickers. There's like a little penguin, an alligator, a pig, a parrot. Are they stickers or are they gift tags? Well, they don't have any to or from. Oh, okay. It just says holiday self-adhesive design. Nice. So stick let's open up. up and stick them on the wall. Stick them on up. We'll just use one sheet. Yes. we got to save our stickers. You never know what you might want to decorate later on. Okay. Oh, my gosh. This turtle is so adorable. Look at this little turtle. He's saying Merry Christmas. These are sticking pretty. Oh, <laughs> goodness. We have it. We moved things around, so um, everything's kind of loosey-goosey on us here. Okay. So I got candy cane zebra. Oh my gosh, I love this turtle. I love the turtle. Love it, love it, love it. They don't smell like peppermint, even though everybody's like color like a candy cane. Yeah. Oh, look at the little puppy. So cute. I'll put him up here. Kind of. Oh, to. I went over Kermit's eyeball, but it's okay. It's okay. I think everything's going to be covered at one point. We're going to have multiple layers of uh, yeah. stickers. Okay, I get to do the froggy? Yep. Yes. Where's the froggy going to go? Froggy? Right here. You guys can't see froggy. Hopefully there's a Dino Drag sticker or another sticker because I have this big blank spot right over yeah, here. Yeah, I have a couple like over the here blank, Like the blank spots are starting to stick yeah. out more and more. All right, what else do we got? Okay, so we have the 2019 newsletter. We'll get to the art project in a minute. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to mix it up. We yeah. usually show us in fast motion drawing it on the fly. Mm -hmm. but I think we're going to take a little more time and show you it after we've done it. Yeah. We'll, we'll read it what it is, of course. Give us a second. Right. We have the Thanksgiving 1994 essay and oh we do have a fall Dino Drag sticker. Nice. I do remember this was coming, and this is. Mm-hmm. It breaks our heart. I know. We wanted to do this. We're gonna so save bad. it for next year. Inspired by the old Seven Up poster where you put the cotton balls on Santa's beard. Mm -hmm. Here is Santa Dino, and you stick a cotton ball. Mm -hmm. We wanted to do this so bad, mm -hmm. but we just got caught up doing other things. So we are saving that, and we're going to put it with our Christmas stuff, and we're going to do it next year. Or this year. Oh, yeah, or yeah, this yeah. year. <laughs> Whatever. In a few months. <laughs> it's going to be December again before you know it. That's true. So we are going to do that. I'm going to have a beer that will look just like mm -hmm. Santa Dino here. Yeah. Are you not shaving for a quarantine like some other YouTubers I've heard of? I, I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> and he, look, this poster is like camouflage, like a chameleon hanging <laughs> off. Watch. Where'd it go? If your hand wasn't there, you would not be able I to see it. No. It's That's like, too funny. Look, it's screen. Look, there's the uh, there's screen grabs from old Christmas commercials. Look, there's a Santa cotton ball beard. Oh, nice. There's um, Scrooge eating some nuggets. Elf's Christmas. Charlie Brown making Chex Mix. Remember these stuffed Muppet Babies from uh, McDonald's? Yes, I do. There's some McNuggets down there having a party. That is so cool. Where's Santa Claus the movie? These are cool, I like this. This commercial was in Santa Claus the movie. When Santa Claus the movie aired, oh, this oh, commercial I thought, I thought, I thought it was, in, was the, in it. Like, when was that in the movie itself? Anyway, okay, what we got? Okay, so we, we're gonna do this art challenge. Mm -hmm. On the back of this sheet of paper, take any sea creature and draw a holiday version of it. That'll be good. That'll be perfect for you. Perfect. A snowman shark, a Christmas crab, a seahorse in an ugly sweater. It's your call. Oh my gosh, I want it all. Can I make an aquarium of I don't see holiday? Why, I don't see why not. Oh my gosh, you guys. We're going to go all out. <laughs> would, would, I, I could also picture somebody like fishing, but using a candy cane for a hook. Oh, good idea. Yeah. So anyway... Look for that in just a second. Okay, Ben, what did you come up with? <laughs> All right, so my drawing is complete with my kind of Christmas underwater theme. 
I have a dolphin Santa. I don't have a name for him, but he's Dolphin Santa, and he has his little sack of gifts that are hanging off his tail fin. He has a Santa hat on, and then instead of reindeer, he has three red Christmas elf jellyfish helping him guide through the water. Not that a dolphin really needs that much. Maybe they're more like light or I don't really know what their purpose is, but they're magical. They're Christmas. That's okay. And then you can see at the bottom that a fish is getting a present. An oyster has gotten their gift and so has a little turtle. And then over on this side of the picture, there is a coral Christmas tree with a red star, a sea star, of course, and it has green and white um, garland lights on it. So there is my Christmas sea creature scene. <laughs> I didn't add John's uh, candy cane fishing fisherman. I totally forgot when I was drawing it that he mentioned that. But this is cute. I like it. I like it a lot. I hope you guys like it too. Oh man, I missed opening these mm -hmm. so much. Mm -hmm. And you know, considering the way life is right now, I think I could appreciate a little holiday cheer. Yeah, this is exciting. This is gonna be a blast right there. We are going to be using this. This <laughs> is going straight to the kitchen and we're going to pick one of these out. Streusel coffee cake. <laughs> Yum. We gotta put Santa Dino beard yep. poster in a safe place. Yep, these guys need to go into safe locations. Not that we don't save everything that we get, but. Some of the stuff over the past six years has kind of got lost in the shovel. I think we've lost a few. Yeah. Just a handful, like we've, the earlier oh, ones. We are only missing four. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. I saw one of them floating around here. Like... Yeah, so I think we're only missing three because I did find one the other day when I was cleaning. That's I pretty don't impressive. Remember That's where pretty went, impressive though. that we only lost track of three considering mm -hmm. the amount of times we've had to move locations. Yeah. Anyway, that's going to wrap up the November 2019 fun fact here as part of Dino Dragathon. Rawr. Be sure to leave a comment down below. All future dino unboxings are going to be right here on our vlog channel. So you can comment and like and share and add to playlist and all that stuff you can't do on our main channel anymore. That's right. So we'll see you next time, everybody. Bye. That's all for today. Oh, man.